Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back. back. Today we'll show you guys how to make delicious baked mussels or sometimes called dynamite mussels. A very popular appetizer in sushi restaurants. It is New Zealand green mussels, baked in a creamy and rich masago mayo mixture and topped off with more masago and green onions. This recipe is super fast and easy and definitely a crowd pleaser. But before we get into this recipe, please take a second to hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell icon for future notifications when we release new videos. Mm -hmm. So y'all, let's get to baking. To begin, let's gather the following ingredients. You'll need one pound of New Zealand green mussels, Japanese kewpie mayo or whatever mayo you may have, sriracha, sugar, masago, chopped green onions, and cayenne, which is optional. And as always, the specific measurements and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. So check that out. So we're going to start off by creating our spicy mayo. It's super easy. In a bowl, add about a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of sriracha to give us a little kick and that nice orange color but you can add as much sriracha as you like to your desired spiciness. And half a tablespoon of sugar for a little sweetness and if you like it sweeter, you can add a little more sugar. We'll also add masago and chopped green onions for that extra flavor as well as one teaspoon of cayenne because we like spicy. But you may leave this out if you would like. Grab a whisk and mix everything together until well combined and set your sauce aside. And there aren't really no specific measurements for this sauce because you'll adjust everything to your taste. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> now, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit while we prepare our mussels for baking. And line your baking sheet with aluminum foil. Look at how nice and plump these are. These mussels were previously frozen and we thawed them out overnight in the fridge. But you can have them thawed out in running water for like a quick 10 minutes. We also pre-wash and clean these thoroughly to remove any debris or broken shells. And we also removed the little string and beard they're attached to, like so. Make sure you drain off any excess water from the mussel after they've been washed and cleaned. Now, with a knife, carefully detach the meat from the shell, and this is totally optional. But I like to cut them in half and put them back in the shell so that they'll be easier to eat and place them on your baking sheet. You can also use a pair of scissors to remove the mussels. And here is a fun fact. The pale mussels are male and the bright pretty orange mussels are female. Now using a spoon, we're going to generously cover the mussels with the spicy dynamite sauce that we made. Time to cook these mussels. Pop them in the oven and bake them for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the spicy mayo is caramelized. And then this is optional. But you can broil them at the end for a minute or so to get that nice char or browning effect. But as a reminder, keep a close eye on them after 10 minutes because we want to make sure we don't burn or overcook them. All right, it's just about ready to take out of the oven. As you can see, they're sizzling and piping hot. It's smelling so good, y'all. Mm. Use a pair of tongs to transfer the hot mussels onto a plate, or you can wait for them to cool down a bit and use your fingers. And finally, top them off with some masago for a nice added crunch and chopped green onions and you're all finished. 
Give it a couple of minutes to cool down a bit before we enjoy them. And here is the final product. Baked Dynamite Mussels. Don't these mussels look gorgeous? The color is amazingly beautiful. This is a great appetizer for potlucks and gatherings. We promise your guests will love it. So be sure to eat them right away while they're fresh. We hope you enjoy our video and leave a comment down below what you think of this simple yet delicious recipe. And friends, there you have it. This is how you make spicy dynamite baked mussels. And y'all know what time it is. It's taste test time. First, check this out. Ooh. Okay, let me grab mine. Cheers. 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 You can eat this with a spoon, <laughs> but I like to suck mine right off the shell. Mmm. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <laughs> the flavor Ooh. is just perfect. <coughs> mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. creamy and spicy enough. Oh! Focus <laughs> <coughs> on the spice. Oh yeah. I love the, um, the crunch of the masago mm -hmm. as well. That is like, it just makes it perfect. It, it gives it, it off. like a nice pop. Mm -hmm. So y'all, if you like what you see, and if you do plan on making this recipe, mm -hmm. please let us know what you think about it in the comments down below. Mm -hmm. And also, if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button and that bell button, so that way it will notify you in the future when we release our new videos. Also, be sure to check out these other great recipes. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Peace. Yeah.